Well, it's good to be here with the senior citizens of Shasta County. And what a wonderful meeting place this is. As you know, we meet here for a number of occasions. And it's always good to be here because we have, it's open and we can show the maps and we can show the, uh, the photos. And uh, first of all, I want to thank the Shasta Association of Realtors for allowing us to come in here and be part of this for our 45 minutes. And secondly, I appreciate you coming. I always say that the people that come and listen to our presentations are people that are curious, they enjoy travel, and they like to find out about places where they'd like to go. And that's part of the reason I'm here. So that's number one. Number two, I always like to share my experiences because I have been traveling for many, many years. As some of you know, I started traveling when I was in college, had a UCLA program, and I went to India. And I came back from that the next year I went to Germany and that started a whole series of things including time in the Air Force when I was in Europe and in England. We have just completed our 53rd country visit so as you know we've really been busy over the years and we've loved every moment of it. We've traveled all over the world from Asia and um, all over Europe, Eastern and Western Europe. We've traveled into South America, Central America. We've been very fortunate. been to Australia a couple of times because this has been my passion. As people that I talk with say, how do you afford this? Well, I afford it because it's my main hobby. It's my golf game, if you will. I don't play golf, but I love to watch golf. But travel has been what we have lived for all these years, so to speak. Now, in addition to that, I'm a family man. I have uh, four children. They're all grown adults. They all have big families. And so in our life, they're our travel has been part of their life because three of my four children still enjoy travel. In fact, my older daughter just got back from a speaking tour. She's a professional speaker and she was in Eastern Europe for the first time in that part of the world. Today we're going to talk about an experience that we had when we were in Asia. And people say, well, what's in Asia? Well, I can tell you Hong Kong, Singapore, and China are absolutely worth going to. And we're going to concentrate on that today because a lot of people do not realize what's happening in that part of the world. Well, let me say this first about Hong Kong. We were first in Hong Kong about 30 years ago, and it was a small British settlement. It was very, very impressive in a small way. In fact, for those of you in the audience that flew in there 30, 35 years ago, you'd fly in right over the downtown, you'd come right in, you land, and as you're coming in for your final approach, you can wave to the people that are in their apartments. It's that kind of a landing. Well, everything has changed. It's now a mega pop populace, if you will. It's huge. People are all over the place. Condominiums and high rises are, it's just incredible. Well, that's a big city that we love to go to. The other city that we enjoy visiting, also in Asia, but in a little different part of Asia, is Singapore. Singapore is was, for me, for many years, my favorite city. So that was a part of the world that we really have enjoyed. So I think you'll see that as we get through this, we'll talk about countries, we'll talk about cities, we'll talk about my favorites, and we'll go from one to the other. I'll have some photographs, and we should be in and out of here in about 45 minutes, and then at that point, if you want to have questions, we'll take questions. So let's get the show rolling. Let's first look at some unique maps that will show you where we were, starting with Asia. 